watching me on YouTube. Good. What's up, my best sound friends and ladies? Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. And yes, I'm back with more of the Saw Movie re Franchise Review Series. It's been a while since I'm taking a uh, day off from doing reviews. It's because of the holidays, which is Thanksgiving. That's what hold me back. Now I'm back in doing the sequel reviews. Holy crap, it took me a while, so. Yes, I'm doing the movie called Saw 2 now, the follow-up to the first one. And this is where director Darren Lynn Bowsman takes the director's seat for this sequel, so. Is it better than the original? You'll find out in this review, so here we go. I guess I'll start with the story concept of this movie. So we're going to get into the positives of this movie. So story concept between Eric Matthews and his son Daniel is a really cool interesting story. Um, another story concept when Eric Matthews wants desperately to get his son back from Jigsaw himself. So that's a cool storyline which is awesome. And also, I really like the... What's really cool about the aspect of the um, movie of Saw 2 is uh, I like the escape the house concept of this movie. I think it's really cool. So all these story concepts I do like from this Saw 2 movie sequel, and uh, I like the way Darren Lynn Bowsman directs the movies. He always puts the green and yellow colors in this sequel, which I've noticed. So he likes a lot, he he likes a lot of greens and yellows in scenes in some scenes. So that's what's cool about that the filters, the the way Dar uh, Darren Lynn Bowsman directs. <laughs> the scenes and all that good stuff. And another thing that's cool, um, and this movie is more action-packed with a little bit of horror. So he wants to go more of an action route than the first one. So that's why the sequel is completely different from James Wan's. So Darren Lynn Bowsman wants to go action-packed with this sequel with a tad bit of horror, which is cool. If you're an action and horror fan, this sequel might be for you. So that's what's cool about it. And all the great concepts and the directing of this one is really good. All the traps are really good in this movie, in this sequel in my opinion. It's really awesome. There's actually a couple that really stand out for me is the beginning trap when it's the death mask that closes on him with the nails inside of that mask. That's a really cool um, death scene right there. And also the needle pet as well. So yeah, all those death scenes are really cool in my opinion, so, which there's a couple that really stand out in this series. Oh, the next positive, um, again, Charlie Closer's music is really good. The ambient music is a lot better in Saw 2 in my opinion. Not only I like his um, ambient score in this music, in his music, um, also I mostly like Mudvayne's Forget to Remember song. That's really awesome addition to the end credits song. I do enjoy that. That's really cool. I'm a fan of Mudvayne, Mud so there you go. 
which is awesome. Just so I can get to the ending just to listen to that song. So that's really cool about that. Some of the good casting I do like in this movie, um, I enjoyed seeing is uh, mostly Tobin Bell. He has the best villain performance out of all these sequels. Um, awesome, in my opinion. And one of his best lines in this movie is this one. Oh yes, there will be blood. Also, another great addition to another actor. He's pretty underrated. It's Donnie Wahlberg who plays um, Eric Matthews in the movie. He's one of those tough-ass cops trying to get his son back. That's one of the actors. So, Donnie Wahlberg is in this movie. A great addition to it. Oh, and also his son played by Eric uh, Kunson. That's his name. I hope I'm not butchering it. He plays um, Eric Matthews' son. The one he was trying to save in this movie. He's a pretty good actor, too. And yes, and lastly, Shawnee Smith. She makes a return in this movie as well. No, he's not. He's testing us. He wants us to survive this. You have to play by the fucking rules! I'm gonna ask you again. How do you know all this? <laughs> And in this sequel in Saw 2, this is a way better twist ending than the original, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion, yeah. So, because the monitors they've been seeing that are actually pre-recorded, so... Kind of like YouTube videos nowadays, it was pre-recorded, so... I didn't expect that the first time I seen it. That's really cool. Um, also, the timer that's sitting next to the monitors, um, they thought it was a bomb. But it really isn't. It's actually a timer for his son to be released from the safe. Because Jigsaw was just given hints he was in a safe place. So all that stuff. So he basically Jigsaw was just giving you more hints. So where he is. So that's really cool. Okay. Yeah, it's all about uh, instead of a bong as they thought so so it's cool so that's really cool so i said a lot of positives about this movie now so i'm gonna go straight into my straight into my negatives now because i don't have mixed things about this movie whatsoever i just want to move on to the negatives so the other casting choices in this movie um they suck. They are actually cannon fodder to die, to, to be honest. So, the other cast members, like the Xavier dude, the Mexican muscle dude. Um, not a fan of um, Addison either. She's a bitch. Also, I forgot the blonde girl's name. I forgot. I apologize. So, yeah, all the rest of the cast suck to me. So, not very good casting. The other half of the casting choice I do not like in this movie. So that's my tiny little negative about it. So, uh, which sucks. So, alright, so I'm gonna end my review right here. So, yeah, I do enjoy Saw 2 with tiny little negatives in it. So, a lot of positives I like about Saw 2. Has the best twist ending since the first one. And uh, Tobin Bell's a way better villain in this one. He gets more screen time, which is awesome. You can, you can actually sit in front of Jigsaw the whole conversation with Donnie Wahlberg. So that's really cool. And Yeah, if you like Action Packed um, with a little bit of horror, this sequel is uh, just in your alley. So, and yes, I will give my final rating at the end of this review, as per usual, like I did with my first one. So. And I hope you, Bath Sound friends and ladies, enjoyed my Saw 2 review. And Saw 3 review will be coming out after this one, trust me. And I'm excited to get to Saw 3. So, in the next sequel review. So. If you enjoy the Saw 2 review, um share this one 
and also like this review so I can get more views and subscribers. And um, you can find me on my Facebook in the description of my video as well. And you can friend me there. And I will see you later on my Soft 3 review.